So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. In, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. It fits quite nicely in your skull because your, your skull is about 10 millimeters thick. Uh, the link procedure, the, the installation of a link, done in under an hour. Um, so you can basically go in in the morning and leave the hospital in the afternoon. <laughs> if you're going to treadmill. <laughs> um, it's a funny, funny concept, really. Um, and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons, and we try to predict the posi position of the joints. Um, and so we, say we have the predicted position of the joints, and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints, you can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy. But what are some likely first applications? Uh, so in the future, we will be able to implement it in human brains, of course. Uh, this will give us access to human snots. We will then take this information and send it in a smart way to integrate with your Tesla. In the scenario of a car fart, we will be able to automatically open the window at exactly the right gap according to the fart neuron impact effect. And in case the farter will have a neuron link chip, we will be able to detect the perpetrator and, and even give him a tiny electric shock which might also as a side effect cause him to fart again. This will of course could put an end to the phrase whoever smelt it dealt it, which I think will be a significant achievement for mankind. Thank you. All right, cool. <laughs> ha ha!